Hi there. Hi. I'd like to look at your microfilm machine, please. Oh, yeah, sure. Here's the key, and the microfilm machine is down the hall to the right. Okay. much better, which brings us to our next song. We've got one from Mary Bue, Fold Inside. Hi there, can I help you? Are, are you Michael Nevins? Yes. I'm Mary Burns. You're the man who found my daughter. Oh. Uh, come in. Come in. Here, have a seat. This is from before she... Would you watch it with me? <clears throat> it's been 40 years and I still miss her every day. Thank you for finding her for me. Michael? <laughs> Can I call you Michael? Of course. Michael, I need help. Your help. She was found a year ago and nobody's been caught. Nobody's been charged. Can't you help me find who did this to her? How? I don't know. I, I just... You're the one who had the game. The one who said where she was. Can't you find where they came from? Who made them? Let's go in the other room. Come on. Now this is from that. From the games there were six of them i finished them all i got the coordinates but it doesn't mean anything i mean they're all over the country and i just i can't find a connection well it's still more than i had the fbi just told me they'd call when they found anything and they never did that's what they told me too when they took the games never heard a word so there's nothing else we can do I might have some of my old college computer stuff in the basement. I could go take a look. All right, hold on. <laughs> I found it. I think this is from that day. Computer club. And there he is. Gabe Nelson. I guess that's where we start. Hey Gabe? Gabe Nelson? Yeah. Michael Nevins. We went to Nygaard Academy back in like the 80s. Oh, Nygaard Academy? Well, that was a hell of a long time ago. I just... I wanted to ask you a question, see if you knew anything about some old computer games you had at a swap meet. They were uh, text adventures. One was called Pale Luna. Oh, yeah. Boy, I, you know, it's like I said, man, that was a hell of a long time ago. Boy, I, what's up? I think this is from that day that you and Jessica Johnson. Oh, wow. 
<laughs> this is a blast from the past. All right, let me think. I kind of remember them. Well, I don't know how much good this will do you. I, I walked into the office, and they were sitting there on the desk, so I grabbed them up, and I tried to play them, but, man, they were buggy as hell, so I just dumped them. Why, did you end up with them? Yeah, I did. Well, sorry, man. That's all I remember. That's okay. Thanks, anyhow, Gabe. Appreciate yeah. it. Say, dude, uh, you know, the feds were here last year looking for those games. What's the deal? That's what we're trying to find out, Gabe. Thank you for the help. I really do appreciate it. Yeah, you know, uh, they left me a phone number in case I remembered something. You want me to go get it for you? You could. Do. No, I got yeah. the number. Thanks. Okay. Well, thanks for stopping by. All right. Yeah, thanks yeah. again, Gabe. Nice seeing you. You too. You know, we're open all summer, so if you want to go fishing, we, they got walleye right down there. It's really good fishing, so I'll give you a good rate on the room. All right. Might take you up on that. All right. Thanks again. Appreciate it. Yeah, take care of yourself. We'll see ya. All right. Well, that was a bust. Yeah. Hey, do you want to go get something to eat? Sure. All right. Coffee and pie sound okay? Sounds great, thank you. All right. What can I get for you? Uh, we'll have some coffee and what kind of pie do you have? Cherry, apple, and rhubarb. I'll have apple, please. Cheese and ice cream? Oh, no. Coming right up. <laughs> so you have the federal agent's phone number? Well, yeah, they gave it to me when they first contacted me. I still call them now and then to see if there are any new developments. They didn't give it to you? Well, they did, but I tossed it out. I didn't think I was going to look into this stuff again. Didn't expect to run into you. So is your husband <laughs> waiting for you at home? Do you need to call him let him know you're okay? Oh, uh, no husband. Oh? When Luna died, it disappeared. <laughs> it was rough. My marriage fell apart. When my husband left, I did too. I went back to Colorado, be closer to my family. I can't imagine how difficult that must have been for you. So, your turn. How can you be out all night chasing phantoms without having to check in? <laughs> Nobody to check in with. My wife and I broke up about 15 years ago. No hard feelings, just happier away from each other. So what do you do for a living? I, uh, I'm a speaker on what it's like to lose a child. Oh, really? Yeah. It helps me to talk to people. And I want to help them, too. In fact, that's what I'm doing back in Minnesota. I have a speaking engagement in Minneapolis. How I deal with it. I'm sorry I haven't been a lot of help so far. Oh, I appreciate you trying. Thank you. <laughs> Agent Barlow? Hi, this is Mary Burns. Say, I, I'm giving a talk tomorrow in Minneapolis, and I'm just wondering if you have anything new on Luna's case. Nothing, unfortunately. We're still checking out leads. Okay. Well, I, I was just wondering. Off the record, though, nothing, unfortunately. Everything that we have checked out has been nothing but dead ends. I'm sorry. I wish I had something better for you, but I don't. It's okay. Thank you for trying. Goodbye. Damn. Damn, did you catch that? Some of it. It's been a whole year and they've got nothing. Nothing. Sorry. Yeah. Well, Michael, I have to get going. I have to get ready for my talk tomorrow. Okay. Oh, hey, can I have that card? I'm going to keep doing some digging, see if I can find anything. Sure. Keep me in the loop, okay? Will do. Okay. Have a good day.
Excuse me, is Dean Jenkins in today? Oh, I'm sorry, he's not. I'm not sure when he'll be back, but would you like to leave a message? No, that's okay. Thanks, anyhow. Bless? Bless Field? Excuse me. Michael Nevins, we used to have classes together. Well, how the hell are you? Doing good, doing good. So, what are you up to these days? I'm retired now. How about you? Uh, tenured professor. It's too Ooh. good to pass <laughs> up. What brings you in here? Oh, I was looking through some of my stuff, and back in 85 or so, we had this advisor, and I can't think of who it is. I looked in the yearbook, and I can't find any record of it. Oh, hell that guy. Come on back to my office. Borkley. Larry Borkley. Guy was only here one semester. That's weird. I mean, I tried looking him up, but I couldn't find him in the yearbooks or faculty list or anything. Well, you wouldn't. Turns out he lied on his resume. Big time, too. They fired him as soon as they found out. Completely expunged him from the records. How did you end up with this? Well, they were cleaning out some old records and they threw it out. I always wondered what the deal was on them, so I held on to it. All right. No big deal. I mean, I just found it in all my old papers and I couldn't place them. It was just bugging the hell out of me. Thanks a lot. Now, this wouldn't happen to be tied to that missing girl you found, would it? Yeah. The police were here about a year ago, checking everybody out. They did a pretty thorough job of it, too. There's a lot of nervous people around here. But I forgot about this guy. All right. I've actually still got the detective's number. Um, I'll give him a call tonight and tell him about it. Thanks a lot. I really appreciate this. All right. Riverside, Minnesota, 1985. Jeez, that's him. And Dota. And Dota. It's about three hours from here. Hey Mary, it's Michael. Um, I imagine you're about in the middle of your speech right now. I just wanted to call and let you know I think I might have a lead on the guy who wrote the game. Um, on my way to talk to him now and I'll call you back if I find anything. Talk to you later. Bye. Here. Yeah, this is Michael Nevins. Um, I'm part of the Pale Luna case. I'm the one who found the games. Yes, Nevins, I know who you are. I just wanted to call and let you know I think I have a lead on the guy who wrote them. I'm on my way to talk to him now. What? No, don't. This is a federal investigation. No, it's okay. I'm just going to talk to him, okay? I want to ask him a couple of questions. Just don't do this, okay, Nevins? Just call Sorry, the local... driving. Got to go. I'll call you later. Nevins? Hello?
What do you want? Are you Larry Borkland? Yeah, who the hell are you? I'm Michael Nevins. Who? Michael Nevins. I was in your computer class at Nygaard Academy in the 80s. Oh, well, what are you doing here now? Too late to complain about your grade. I just wanted to ask you about some computer games. Text adventures. Oh, I haven't thought about those in years. You, you play one of them? I played six of them, and I finished them. I know what the endings mean. I'm the one who found that first little girl, Luna. Luna? Wh which one was she? In Riverside, by the college. Uh, it's kind of hard to keep them straight after all these years. Hand me that red scrapbook up there on the shelf, would you? Oh, her. <laughs> she was a bad one. What do you mean, a bad one? A bad kid. <laughs> Let me tell you a story. Larry, can I have a turn? Oh, fine, Aunt. Uh, uh, push me. I saw her shove a little girl in the playground one day. Ah! So I killed her. There, how do you like it? Laura? Laura? And you know what? I was happy I did it. She wasn't going to hurt my little sister again. I made the world a better place that day by getting rid of a bad person. Made it better lots of times. By killing children. The bad ones. Every town I went to had at least one. But you weren't there. You don't know what it's like. Luna pushed a little girl to the ground just like Laura shoved my sister. I saw a chance to do something good and I took it. Turned out to be kind of fun. Why make the games then? Because I knew how. That was fun too. You're a sick bastard. <laughs> Am I? I'm calling the police. Look at me. What can they do to me that's worse than this now? I wouldn't do that. Shut up. <laughs> What's the matter? You've not killed anybody before? It's fun. You ought to try. Shut up! 911? I need the police out here right away. Larry Borkland's house. Judgment Day. I hope you're ready. I guess we'll find out. He's dead. This is Special Agent Bardo, FBI, here to take over the case.
Tell them to get the recovery teams ready. We've got more. Is this it? Well, this is where we park. We have to hike from here. I, I just didn't want her to be forgotten. You drop this. What's this? It's a journal. They have to pay, Michael. Who does? People like Borkland. Predators, child molesters. They have to get caught, Michael. They have to be stopped. They're everywhere, everywhere I go, every city I go to. I didn't care so much about the rest of them, but I needed to be there for this one. I wanted him to see me. I wanted him to know me before he died. I'm... I'm sorry. Thank you for finding him. This is the one that really mattered, Michael. I really appreciate it. I've got to go now, Michael. Goodbye.